so in our monthly meetings we have been sharing the content in a proper sequence we started by introducing the need basic guidelines content and process of value education and then we went on to share the harmony at every level and we also extended the discussion to pertinent issues in relation to these topics so we talked about the harmony in the nature in the previous session and the previous to previous session in the previous one we had talked about the economics which can be for the well-being of all so in that sequence now we need to talk about the harmony in the existence so you are already exposed to the content about the harmony in the existence we have talked about the existence and the coexistence briefly in the introductory workshop and we detailed upon it in the uhv2 workshop and this monthly meeting we'll discuss about it further in fact all of us who have been attending the morning sessions regularly are also quite exposed to this content and you can see there is a lot to observe lot to be aware about when you talk about harmony in the existence so the topic chosen for today is that the right understanding in the self gets completed with realization of coexistence so we'll discuss it and we'll keep it explorative we'll keep it as a process of dialogue so i'll propose certain things from my side and then you can ask questions so we can see that human being is coexistence of self and body the needs activities of the self are completely different from those of the body my needs are continuous in time they are qualitative and they are fulfilled by my own activities by right understanding and right feeling when i look at the body i see that the need of the body is physical facility and all the needs of the body are temporary they are even quantitative required in a limited quantity and for that uh, the body requires the physiochemical things for that we do production on the rest of nature and then we are able to fulfill the needs of the body so my needs are fulfilled by my own activities but the needs of the body are not fulfilled merely by the activities of the body we require physical facilities from the rest of nature so we can see that to be able to be happy in continuity i need to develop myself in terms of right understanding and right feeling so the issue is when do i say that my right understanding is complete my right feeling is complete that is the issue that is something that we are trying to explore we can also see that my activities are there in terms of desire thought expectation while the needs of the activities of the body are in terms of eating walking breathing such activities and the activities of the body are temporary while my activities are continuous we have also noted that the body merely has the activity of recognizing and fulfilling there is no potential to know or assume the body because body is material but i being a conscious entity have the potential to know the potential to assume we have also explored that already we are having the activities of assuming recognizing and fulfilling and this potential to know is to be utilized and for that only we are here in this meeting for that only we are attending workshops <clears throat> we are attending morning sessions we are exploring we are validating we are trying to refer to our natural acceptance and we can also see that this is a basic need of mind we need to know my basic desire to be happy in continuity is fulfilled only when i am able to know the reality as it is so long as i do not know i assume something which may not be in coherence with the reality and then i am in contradictions i am in confusion i get into opposition and my living is not harmonious i hope all of us are able to see this now when i look at myself i can see that there are activities in me i have the activity of desire thought expectation and that means that i image within myself what is my basic desire my basic desire is to be happy and that also in continuity so the imaging that i am doing in me right basically is to be happy in continuity so i image about myself my career my future my family my relations my health my body my interaction in the society my placement in the society you know my status how people think about me how people look at me what will happen of me after some time from where i have come where do i have to go all those things i keep on imaging why because i want to be resolved within why because i want to be happy in continuity 
now whatever i image i analyze accordingly if i image about my happy life as being or as possessing a lot of wealth then i keep on analyzing how to possess how to earn a lot of wealth and then i might have certain options so i compare those options and then i try to see which is going to work now whenever i have options and i compare them i get a taste whether this is going to make me happy or something else now based on all this i make some selections within me and if required i also pass on this information to my body based on my selection that yes now you have it has to work accordingly so this imagination put all together is called imagination is going on in me and you can see that this is going on all the time the basic desire to be happy in continuity is there in me all the time with that i keep on imaging about things inside me around me and then i keep on analyzing and comparing and with that also i keep on selecting and testing and i pass on this information to my body as per the requirement not every time so the body is there with me it is outside me it is my instrument or material entity and i am exchanging information with the body as per the need so i pass on the information to the body in terms of instruction and i receive the information from the body in terms of sensation now what happens that if i do not have the knowing and showed in me and these higher level activities are not awakened then there could be three sources of imagination one source could be some preconditioning what i image about a happy life i assume something about this prosperous life i again assume something about a respectable life i again assume something isn't it about my relationships i assume something about my health i assume something about my interaction in the nature i assume something so i keep on assuming and then if you look at uh, yourself you will see that passage of time they become deeply ingrained in terms of preconditionings so we get preconditioned about a happy life prosperous life healthy body good relationships a good placement in society good placement in organization right whatever we term as valuable to us similarly this body is there with me and i keep on exchanging information and i keep on getting sensation also from the body and many times i assume this to be happiness the favorable sensation that i get so this is another source of my imagination and the third source is my natural acceptance something which is innate to me isn't it whenever i pay attention inside and ask some genuine questions i get very definite answers with that if i ask myself do i want to be happy i get a very definite answer yes do i want to have the feeling of relationship i do get a very definite answer yes so this is another source so it is to be explored within in fact we have been doing this and also verified whether this is happening in me so are you able to see all these five activities in you nice and we are also able to see the three sources of imagination i will see that if my imagination is dictated by some preconditioning something that i have come to assume without verifying i am mean slave because something from outside has come and i just accepted it without verifying so many responses saying yes very nice similarly if i am trying to fetch happiness through sensation then again i am slave i have to depend on something outside for my happiness so whenever i have to depend on something for happiness i am slave because it is not innate to me and there is dependence and whenever there is dependence there is temporariness because the other thing on which i am dependent may not continue and there is indefiniteness also the way i relate to that external thing i may not relate the same way every time so i am enslaved but this is not my natural acceptance i don't want to be enslaved i want to be self organized now for that what i need to do i need to refer to my natural acceptance and this is the way we have been proceeding this is the way i develop as a self as a human being the more i am able to refer to my natural acceptance by imagining about a happy and prosperous life the more self organized i am and the more i try to depend on something outside of me for happiness i am enslaved i am dictated by something outside and if someone is not exposed to this process of self exploration then this enslavement can go further and deeper isn't it we may spend the whole life 
trying to enjoy a free life, a life of freedom, but being enslaved within. In fact, if you look at the generation today, they are talking about freedom too much. That freedom is my basic right. I want to have a life of freedom. My choice should be my own. But the the, the, the basic question to inquire is, from where are you getting the choices? Are the choices of yours or you are getting from outside? From where did you decide that this is going to make you happy in continuity? So it may be the case that we are enslaved, but we are assuming it to be freedom, isn't it? And the question is not to be free. Uh, free. The question is to be self-organized. Freedom is not my basic need. My basic need is to be self-organized. The more self-organized I am, <clears throat> I can see that I'm in harmony. But when I try to enjoy something in terms of freedom, right, it is again dependent on something outside. Yes. Namaste, Bhaiya. Yeah, namaste. Uh, when we refer to natural acceptance, uh, we have to see the, the purpose uh, behind that, right? Yes. Uh, so when uh, when I'm taking this content to students, I say that um, when you're bunking the class, uh, when you're not coming regularly or you are coming only for attendance, so you had to see that purpose of the education is to get the knowledge. So whether this proposal, that purpose of coming to the college is getting knowledge, is something natural, acceptable to all? There again, what you are terming as knowledge and what the other is terming as knowledge may be different. So for mm. uh, example, it may be the case that when you are using the word knowledge, we are using in terms of right understanding, right feeling. But when the student is looking at this word knowledge, the student is assuming it to be a set of information in terms of skills. So that may not be the basic need. So when we are using this word knowledge also, we have to see what exactly do we mean by this word knowledge. Is it something to do with right understanding, right feeling? Or is it something to do with a set of information? Now that set of information may not ensure happiness in me in continuity. So I may lose interest. Another possibility is that one is able to see that, yes, knowledge is a basic need, right understanding is a basic need. But the conditionings which are there in the self already, okay, those may not be in coherence with these uh, set of proposals. And one may not feel assured that this is going to make me happy. So those conditionings may again drift the person away from the proposal or from verification. That is also possible. When the student sees that uh, this knowledge of getting skills is uh, not to my liking or uh, it is not up to the mark I expected, then he may not uh, feel related to the class and he may not uh, see it useful. Yeah. Uh, yeah there again, outly. what the child is terming as knowledge, is it a set of skills, set of information or is it something to do with right understanding? That we have to see. Now in the classroom, mm -hmm. what we are generally uh, delivering is some information about something in the nature or something about the present state of being of human being, things like that. And one does not get resolved through this. And if the child does not get resolved through this, the child loses interest also. Maybe we can take this example for when we are taking value education class, not for the skill-based class. Yeah, there again, there again, we are proposing this content from our side, but the child is not able to relate this content to one's own happiness. The child is preconditioned about happiness. The child may assume that happiness to be ensured through accumulation of wealth by enjoying sensual pleasures and things like that. So the child will again not feel interested. But once this self-exploration gets initiated, then the child will be interested. So that's how we try to initiate this process as much as possible with the limitation of time and opportunity to the courses. Thank you. Nice. Thank nice. You. So this is something that we have to investigate. We have to see. So we can see that this potential to know, even though the activities of right understanding, right feeling are not activated, not awakened. Still, I have the potential because I can see it in terms of my natural acceptance. So the thing to do is that I become aware of this potential and I start 
the process of self exploration within so that the higher level activities can be activated so we can place these activities in two blocks block b1 and block b2 block b2 is the block of imagination the set of activities which are involved in imagination and block b1 is the block of right understanding right feeling now when block b1 is not activated my thoughts are unguided my expectations are unguided so it may be the case that i am expecting to be happy okay, without really understanding what happens sometimes it's through sensation so this may be my current state when i am only active in the block b2 only at the level of imagination and the higher level activities are not awakened but the potential is there very much and when this is the case then my thoughts are unguided my expectations are unguided i am expecting to be happy without really being clear what happiness is what prosperity is and i am trying to fetch happiness through sensation so the sensations the tendency to go for happiness through sensation remains unguided similarly when i am working for physical facilities my motivation may come from profit making as much as possible without ensuring harmonious relationship without ensuring fulfillment with the rest of nature it may be the case that i assume myself to be the body and then i try to assume a happy and prosperous life for me by consumption as much as possible so the notion of health gets misguided in terms of consumption and similarly <clears throat> i am trying to fetch happiness through sensation so my senses are also unguided so this is the state when i am in disharmony there is randomness in my thought my desire my expectation my own desires may be enough to keep me unhappy because they are dictated by preconditionings or sensations and the thoughts are also unguided the expectation is also unguided and then this is the state of unhappiness discomfort from which we want to come out isn't it now when i am able to note this as we get exposed in a workshop or any such session where we start self exploring then we start referring to the natural acceptance and then a process of transformation starts so it may be the case that i am presently living uh, in the state of animal consciousness active only uh, at the level of lower activities like expectation or thought or desire but if i start exploring within if i start verifying the proposals within and then validating my living so gradually my higher level activities get awakened this is the evolution process of mind this evolution has to take place in me not the body the body is merely my instrument isn't it so if you look at the dotted lines so below the dotted line it may be the current state when i am living only with the lower activity of the self and imagination is largely based on sensation of preconditioning but still i have the need to know i have the potential to know and i have the potential to awaken to the higher activities of mind but since i have not entered into this process of self exploration so i am unguided i am enslaved i am unhappy and uncomfortable but when i start verifying the proposals when i start observing the reality as it is my relationships my interaction with the rest of nature then gradually i start evolving as a human being isn't it and this is the process of evolution so the high level activities of contemplation understanding realization gradually get awakened so we can observe for ourselves whether we are also able to see this kind of state this kind of uh, progress within us or not isn't it so in this process of evolution in the process of ensuring right understanding as i am moving from lower level activity to the higher level activity so this is the progression that i can see within me so when i am active only at the level of expectation okay so i can only see some part of the fork and some part of the property of a unit isn't it i am not aware about something in a unit which can be continuous which can be universal which can be definite i am only operating at this level and then my senses remain unguided my tendency towards happiness is in terms of some favorable sensation at the level of thought we are able to see some part of the property that is the effect of one unit on another unit not still the complete property but gradually we are progressing isn't it now at the level of desire when i image about a happy and prosperous life i have feelings in me now those feelings again may be preconditioned unguided 
but when i entered into this process of self exploration so gradually the activity of contemplation gets awakened and what does it mean so i get clarity about relationship i get clarity about the relation between one self and the other what are the values embedded in those relationships for example trust i can see that i naturally want to be happy and want to make the other happy isn't it or yet maybe the case that i am not aware about all this i'm just interacting with human beings i am not aware what happiness is i am not aware uh, whether i want to make the other happy or unhappy i am just active at the level of thought and doing something for the sake of happiness now when i start questioning all these things so the high level activities start getting activated i start questioning myself do i want to make the other happy or not and the more clarity i get about this i also get the clarity about the other that yes the same way the other also wants to make me happy intention wise we all are pure fine there no problem with the intention as such the only problem lies with the development of the self it has not taken place in completeness and that's how i myself am not able to ensure happiness in continuity and the other is also not able to ensure happiness in continuity so this is the way we start questioning we start observing we start verifying validating and we all are in this process so i get clarity about relationship put in other words i get clarity about the natural characteristic what is natural to me what is there in me which is innate to me which is quite natural to me and put in other words i am able to see my participation in the larger order so an individual is a part of a family the family is the larger order of that individual now the cluster of families is a larger order of that family and so on so i am able to contemplate on the participation in the larger order now with this i also get clarity i also am able to decide that yes this is fine this is there then how do i go with it so i get determined accordingly now with this i also get clarity about the being of that entity what that entity is when i am when i am able to see that i want to make the other happy then i am also able to see partly what am i what the other is am i the body or not the other is the body or not so the more i am able to contemplate on the feeling i also get some clarity about the being of that particular entity the innate harmony the innate self organization of that entity so gradually by awakening to the activity of contemplation determination understanding we are progressing as a human being as a self hello namaste namaste all namaste uh can i can you uh, substitute the word of uh, contemplate contemplation while having the participation in larger order my belongingness suppose my belongingness to the all the four order so can uh, can that suffice to say that it is as good as contemplation see belongingness no does not exactly reflect on that but we can put any other word that is fine we have to look into the reality so when i say belongingness so i belong to this family so in some sense we are saying that this family wants me so that is not the case i am related to the family so essentially we are talking about relationship so the relationship is already there i am trying to look into that relationship and that looking into the relationship or being able to see that relationship is called as contemplation so the reality is there already whether i am able to contemplate upon it or not and now when i am able to see this then i say that yes i am able to contemplate so that is the case so oh, okay nice dear now going in this process contemplating about the relationship with different units around me understanding the units in the nature around me right i am also able to authenticate all this within me and then comes a stage when i am able to make out the basis for this i am able to see the harmony in the nature but i am not able to see the basis for this harmony i am able to see the relationship but i am not able to see the basis for this relationship so the inquiry within me comes to a level when i start looking at the very basis of this whole reality and then at some point of time i get the clarity about the submergence of the whole nature in space and that 
submergence of the whole nature in space is something which is called as coexistence. So I get the clarity about the coexistence. And when I get this clarity, I'm able to see myself submerged in space. I'm able to see myself related to every entity in this existence. Isn't it? So I'm able to see this directly as it is. So this black arrow, if you see within, so I'm able to see at the level of realization how I'm related to this whole existence, how this whole existence exists. Well, there it is there, it will be there. I am able to see that this coexistence has been ever present, it has been ever effective, it has been ever expressing. It's only that I am not paying attention. And when I pay attention, I am able to see some transcendence within me. My connectedness to the whole, the whole existence, not being limited to a part. And at this stage, my understanding gets complete. The right understanding gets complete. This is my committed, my desired state. This is the state in which I really want to be, to be able to develop myself to this particular level, isn't it? So I am ascending from lower to higher to be of the self in this manner. So we can see this kind of progression within us. We can see how, for example, when you are listening to the proposal in the workshop, you have chosen to listen. So you are selecting some words from outside. You are getting that information. And the information about the content in terms of language is getting transferred to you and you are testing something within you when you are exploring within, isn't it? You are testing the resolution, how you are getting resolved, how your relationships are getting resolved. So that testing of happiness in you prompts further to analyze, to compare, to image a happy and prosperous life, going by right understanding, right feeling. So this is the way we have been progressing. Now, having accomplished this, I'm able to see the relationship, the natural characteristic within me, my participation in the larger order within me. I'm able to see the harmony in the nature, the self-organization of every unit in the nature, the innateness of every entity in the nature. And a stage comes when I'm able to see the whole existence as it is, the whole nature being somewhere in space, and that is my competence in the coexistence. And then the lower level activities get guided by these higher level activities, the activities in block below. So if you look at the right hand side, they are mentioned as state activity. And if you look at the left hand side, they are mentioned as dynamic activity. So state activity means when I see this, it gets stated in me. And then there is some dynamism associated with this. So the moment I realize the whole existence as coexistence, it gets authenticated in terms of my own activities. My own activities, which are incomplete, now get completed by this realization. It gets authenticated. The understanding that I get in me, it further gets dynamism in terms of determination, the decision that I take to live accordingly. Similarly, the contemplation which gets completed in me has a dynamism. So it guides my imaging now completely. The image of a happy and prosperous life is no more unguided, no more dictated by preconditioning or sensation, but it is guided by realization, understanding, and contemplation. So this is the state I enter into. I'm able to see the whole existence as coexistence. The realization is stated in me. Now that, that gets authenticated in terms of the decision to be accordingly and to live accordingly. Now, this decision makes my understanding complete. Earlier, I was able to see the harmony in the nature in different orders, one by one, piece by piece, part by part. But with this, con with this realization of coexistence, it gets completed. I want to see the whole nature with its innateness as it is. And then a natural outcome of this is the decision to be accordingly, the determination. If you look at the Hindi word, it is sankal. It means some porta kyaars me kalpana shilta ka It means my whole imagination gets guided by this realization and understanding. So the same thing uh, now gets my contemplation also completed. I was trying to contemplate upon relationship 
piece by piece, part by part. But now, with this realization of the whole, it gets completed. It has the basis now, which I am able to see. So it gets reflected in my imaging. The uh, imaging now guides my comparing. So earlier, earlier my comparing was unguided because it was driven by senses, health or profit. And now the right understanding guides it. So the understanding of coexistence, harmony and justice guides the lower level of comparing that is senses, health and profit. So earlier it may be the case that I was driven by sensations for happiness, but now I I'm able to see that the sensation is an information that I get from the body and it helps me evaluate the current state of the body. It helps me evaluate the current state of the physical facility and then I make my choices accordingly. Similarly, earlier, I, it may be the case that I was trying to consume as much as possible for the sake of happiness in terms of food, clothes, shelter, instruments, assuming myself to be the body. And that's how I was trying to accumulate as much as possible for me so that I can consume more and more. I can nurture, I can protect my body more and more because that was appearing to be my real entity. But now when I am able to see myself as I am, <clears throat> I'm able to see the body as my instrument, then no longer I am driven by such conditionings. Similarly, earlier it may be the case that I, I was assuming physical facility to be happiness. And then I was trying to get more and more profit in my transaction so that I could be happy more and more. And then for that, I was exploiting people. I was exploiting the rest of nature. So you will see that when the comparing is unguided for the sake of senses, health or profit, you exploit the other human being, you exploit the rest of nature. But when they are guided, they get rightly utilized in terms of mutual fulfillment, mutual happiness, mutual prosperity. So when I have this completeness in my comparing, then the analyzing also gets properly guided. I no longer analyze options which are not acceptable to me naturally, but I analyze only those options which are acceptable to me naturally. Isn't it? And whenever I analyze with this awareness, I always taste happiness in me. So earlier it was unguided on the basis of sensation, but now the goal is clear to me. The human goal is clear. The values are there in me stated in me and they guide the sensation so i'm able to rightly utilize the sensation that i get from the body and that's how i make my selections every time whenever i select to behave it is always in terms of mutual happiness whatever i do with the rest of nature it is always in terms of mutual prosperity and my participation every moment is for the fulfillment of human goal so my behavior in terms of mutual happiness becomes my participation in undivided society I want to see my role in undividedness every moment and act accordingly. I want to see my role in universal human order, not being fragmented on you know, a smaller basis of uh, caste, creed, gender, physical facilities, all those things, notions, conditionings. But rather, I'm able to see my role in the universal human order, and not only for this generation, but for all the generations to come in terms of human tradition. I can see that this nature, this existence is not for my consumption. This earth is not for my consumption. It is there and it has enough to fulfill my needs. So the more I'm able to move upwards, the same thing gets reflected in my expression. And when I'm at this state with the completeness of right understanding within by realizing the coexistence, my expression outside is always in terms of human tradition always in terms of universal human order. This is the completeness of right understanding in me. And I'm able to see my relatedness, my submergence in space every time, every moment. Yeah. Any questions so far? Uh, yeah. I just want to ask uh, that, uh, you know, uh, we human beings, when our desire, thought, expectations, we try that, you know, that preconditioning and sensation, um, you know, we try for having it, you know, uh, the sources more as the natural acceptance. And we try to, uh, you know, verify each preconditioning, whether it is bringing harmony in me and all. Suppose if we keep trying in this level of uh, uh, imaging, analyzing, selecting desire, thought, expectations, which is a B2 level. So, is it that that continuous efforts at this level would take us to D1 
the higher level if that continuous effort is there for you know uh, continuously and for a longer period of depends again what is my direction of effort is it for self exploration self verification so okay. i may be active all the time but it may not be the right direction also so then i will not be able to reach the state of completeness of right understanding so i again have to keep on verifying within me whether i am working for being in accordance with my natural acceptance or not every time mm -hmm. even though for example i am participating in value education programs but still i can mm -hmm. keep on asking myself is my mm -hmm. participation in accordance with my natural acceptance otherwise my own preconditioning which i have nurtured within for a long time mm -hmm. may again influence my participation mm -hmm. So I may be conditioned to fetch happiness from outside through favorable feelings by getting attention of others, by getting appreciation mm -hmm. of others, and mm -hmm. in this program also again I may get misled, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So things like this may occur. So every time I have to keep on referring to this my innate faculty of natural acceptance. Then only I am able to develop the high level activities. Okay, Bhaiya. And this uh, bliss is written at the fourth level. So. Uh, Please, please. Yeah, please. I'll come to that. Uh huh. So what exactly? So is, is yeah, the bliss is my state when I'm able to have the completeness of understanding in me based on realization. Okay. That state is bliss. Okay. okay. Now, on the basis of this understanding in completeness, my desire gets definite in completeness. Mm -hmm. So that is satisfaction continuity. Mm -hmm. I get dissatisfied because my own desires are unguided. Mm -hmm. Now, when I am able to see that my desires are very much in accordance with my natural acceptance, and there is every provision in the nature to fulfill my desire. In fact, the moment I am able to ensure this activity of realization, understanding, and contemplation in me, I am able to see that my needs are fulfilled by my own activities. So there is no challenge outside. They are naturally going to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This sense of accomplishment in me that my okay. desires are you know, fulfilled mm -hmm. by my own activities yes. keeps mm -hmm. me satisfied all the time because okay. I do not have to depend anything on anything outside. Yeah. Whenever I depend on something outside for my happiness, I become enslaved, and then satisfaction does not continue. Okay. Uh -huh. Physical facilities are limited. Uh -huh. Body is temporary, isn't it? Yeah. Physical facility is also temporary. So if I try to ensure happiness through these means, then mm -hmm. always possible that I feel dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. But when I have to see that my right understanding, right feeling only is going to ensure happiness in me, and that also in continuity. So the happiness, the desire is in me. The fulfillment is also there in me all the time. I naturally feel satisfied, isn't it? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, so, yeah, basically, um, this goal, value, guided sen uh, sensation. So, when these values are inculcated in us, maybe that's just a primitive step towards, uh, you know, uh, going to the next step. It's like that. Like, uh, but we have to keep on uh, uh, seeing that our happiness doesn't come from outside. We are not getting affected by outside things, and. Uh, more concentrating on the self, looking at the self and harmony within. Yes. Huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So it's, currently it's, I may be depending right, on no? something yeah. outside, yeah. but I'm able yeah. to see that this cannot be the continuous source of happiness. So all the time I'm working within also. Yes. So in this okay. process of transition, I may be depending outside. It may be huh. something common to all of us, but I'm also huh. able to see the right program for me. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Ben. Nice, nice, Didi. He has asked a question, which among these is the happiness defined by being in harmony when desire, thought and expectation are in line with natural acceptance? Yeah, so this is all in harmony. So harmony at the level of expectation is happiness. Harmony at the level of thought is peace. Harmony at the level of desire is satisfaction. Harmony at the level of the higher level activities of two. Understanding and determination is bliss. So as I was explaining, so I feel satisfied within and I'm able to see that 
my desires are completely in line with my right understanding and there is every provision to be fulfilled within so i feel satisfied now with that i also get peace in my thoughts no longer dictated by any kind of random imagination random desire random conditioning okay random sensation so i feel peace within free of any kind of contradiction no feeling of opposition no feeling of confrontation within or dilemma within so i feel peace within and then i am happy within every time because i am always testing resolution in me i am always testing the right feeling right understanding in me so this is the desired state this is the completeness of right understanding with realization of coexistence and this is what essentially we are aiming for isn't it now what do i realize that is something to observe so when i try to look at this existence i can see that this is coexistence the space is there everywhere the units are there which are submerged in space and that essentially means that being in a space the units are energized the units are self organized and the units are recognizing the relationship and fulfilling the relationship with every other unit in being in space so when i look at the activity in the units i can see that there is energy but how come every unit is energized i can see that the units have a different conduct but how come the units are self organized what is the basis of all this i am able to see that the units are related they are fulfilling each other but what is the basis of all this this remains as a question in me and inquiry in me unless i am able to see the submergence as it is in completeness so this is the content of realization isn't it this is the harmony in the existence the whole existence is already in harmony in the whole existence only the self is there which naturally accepts harmony but unless the right understanding right understanding is ensured the harmony is not ensured and that's how we are working that's how we are active we uh, in harmony in continuity so existence is all that exists being self organized means that the unit is in different or definite order is in harmony it has a definite conduct and since it is definite that's how it can be identified it can be understood it can be verified it can be shared and every time it is observed the same way since it is definite if it keeps on changing what i observe may not be the same as you observe but since this is definite i observe the same thing you observe the same thing and that's how it is said that the truth is very much there in the existence it's only that whether you are able to observe it whether i am able to observe it or not that may be the only difference but when i am able to observe the truth it reflects in me the same way so when i look at the existence i can see that this is coexistence the units are submerged in space all the units are limited in size i am limited in size you are limited in size the body is limited in size while the space is unlimited the space in which all the activities are submerged itself is no activity it is at the basis of every activity but itself it is no activity and being in space every activity is there the units are activities within themselves and they are active with other units this is the whole this is the way the whole existence is there isn't it and these units are there as either material units or consciousness units so there are two different kinds of units there is no unit which is material as well as consciousness either the unit is material or it is consciousness when it is material it only have the activity of recognizing and fulfilling and when the activity is continuous it is consciousness it have the activity of knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling i hope you all are acquainted with these words isn't it so we can see that the material units are temporary their constitution keeps on changing that they are temporary the existence continues the unit is there okay but the constitution changes when i look at myself i can see that i am also there and my constitution does not change it may not it is not the case that some activities get split off or some activities from outside come and combine with me no but that may be there with the physiochemical units if you look at the chemical reactions what is happening the electrons they are some with joining you know combining so the sub atomic particles are combining together to make 
molecules and then the molecules are making molecular structures and things like that so the constitution is changing isn't it but here in the cell there is no change in the constitution it remains as it is so the physiochemical units are limited in space and time i am limited in space so i am not there everywhere but i am continuous in time and if you look at the space it is ever it is unbounded in time and space i myself am bounded in space but not in time the material units are bounded in space as well as time so there are three distinct realities so if you see when i look at the whole existence as coexistence i can see that single reality that one reality when i see the units submerged in space i am able to see the two realities units and space and when i see the material consciousness and the space i can see three realities isn't it so this is the way you will see that in the tradition also people have tried to look at the reality as it is and they have given different propositions but essentially this is what being is being talked about isn't it so when i look at the whole existence i can see that the nature is there some more in space and the nature has two kinds of units material and consciousness these material units are temporary they only have that to recognizing and fulfilling while the self the continuous entity has is continuous it is the conscious entity and it has the activity of knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling the material units are organized in two orders physical order and bio order the smallest unit of the physical order is the atom the atoms combine together to make molecules the molecules combine together to make molecular structures and they are there in the nature in two different forms one is the lump and the other is fluid the lump retains its uh, shape and size the fluid does not retain its shape and size and these fluids combine together to make a cell which is the smallest unit of bio order the cells with one kind of composition make a plant the cells with another kind of composition make an animal body the cells with another kind of composition make a human body when the animal body coexists with the cell it is there as human order when the human body sorry it is uh, when the animal body exists there with the cell it is there as the animal order when the human body coexists with the cell it is there as human order and the human order this potential to rightly understand see the reality this down which i am able to show the right feeling so there is a potential of right understanding right feeling now when the realization gets awakened then the right understanding and right feeling gets completed and then i participate rightly thus my conduct also gets completed and this is exactly the development that is taking place in the nature here you can see that in the physical order or bio order there is no development as such it is cyclic there is cyclicality here the unit of bio order goes back to the physical order the unit of physical order goes and makes again a unit of bio order and things like this the same thing is there with my body with the body of the animal but it is not there with the cell there is development in the cell there is no cyclicality here and this is where we have to really focus upon i have to see that the development can take place only in the cell not in the physiochemical units so whenever i aim for development as a family as a nation as a society i have to focus here this is my focal point yeah namaste kumar bhaiya ji namaste yeah am i audible sir yeah audible yeah. ji yeah the, uh, that's my question is that is human origin uh, by the cell uh, that's uh, can you just extend it sir this theory that's with the cell See, when you talk about human origin are you talking about the origin of the self or the body yeah these are the two difficult situations that's <laughs> so in the current science they are only targeting at the origin of body and they are able to see how the uh, shape size color composition of the body has been changing over time but at the same time when i look at myself i can see that i am not the body so i am able to yes. see how i also have been progressing so one possibility is that i have been there you know all the time the second possibility is there at some point of time some physiochemical unit got transformed into a conscious unit that possibility is also there 
So this is something that I keep open and I can explore within me. I can see you know, whether this can be my origination or not. So when somebody is asking about the origin of the mankind, we have to really see whether it is being talked about. What is being talked about? It is the body or the self? Yes. Yeah. So you can see that in the entire existence, everything else is in harmony. Only I am in this harmony because the right understanding is not ensured, the right feeling is not ensured, the right conduct is not ensured. So this is where we are focusing upon. This is the focus of whole human civilization ultimately, that this self gets developed. And that essentially means this, block B1 gets awakened with realization. Okay. Now, another question that may arise is that, can every self reach this state? Or how much time does it take? Is it possible even that every self is able to reach this state? So those possibilities, those, those you know, kinds of queries may remain. But again, we can see that this is my desired state. And this is where I really want to be. Yes, Chandra Shekhar Ji. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. Bhaiya, there is one doubt. Uh, when health is evolved from V2 level to B1 level, yeah. So will it uh, be stable or it will come back to again uh, B2 level? See, if it again comes mm -hmm. back to B2 level, then why to work so much? <laughs> we are already there in B2 level. So yes, there is no such uh, going back from B1 to B2. For example, but if you are able to see... Realized. Yes. Once you are able to see that every human being wants to make you happy, how can you forget it? Forgetting means I have only thought about it. I have not been able to see it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Understood, Bhaiya. Thank nice, you. Nice, Bhaiya. So this is the development of the self. In the whole existence, it is the self, the conscious entity which has to develop. And the development is this. The higher level activities get awakened. Isn't it? And this is a cycle. It is not cyclic. The cyclicality is here. In the physiochemical world, but not in the self. Yeah, Renuka ji is saying self without body will be searching and they don't have brain to think. How can they develop? So first of all, the brain doesn't think, I think. But yes, I do require the body as an instrument to be able to listen to the proposals, verify within me, validate in my living. In fact, verification also, if you see, does not actually require the body. But when I go to validate, I require the body. So the body is there as an instrument available to me. And that's how we have to make right utilization of this body so that the understanding gets completed. So with the completeness of right understanding me, you know, this is something that I can see. So on one hand, I'm working for coexistence, realization of coexistence. So presently, if you see, we are trying to make effort for realization within. And at the same time, we are trying to participate in the larger order outside. So one end is to be able to reach this state of realization. And the other end is to authenticate my living in terms of universal human order and human tradition. So when I'm able to have the realization within, then my right understanding gets completed. And with this, my expression outside also gets completed. This is completeness of human conduct. So the human conduct also gets completed with realization of coexistence. The human conduct is a very natural expression of my right understanding. It's not that I have to fabricate it, I have to design it separately. No, the moment I'm able to see the reality as it is, the same thing gets expressed in my conduct. If it does not get expressed in my conduct, it means I am not seen within. I am only thinking about something. I have not been able to see the reality as it is. And that's how my conduct remains indefinite from time to time. So verify within oneself whether this is something that I am able to see for myself. So to sum up the whole thing, human being is coexistence of self and body. The self has the potential to know, that is to ensure right understanding. Existence is there as coexistence. All the units are submerged in space. And submergence essentially means that the units are energized. The units are self-organized, the units are uh, 
participating with other units being in relationship with other units and the base of all this the basis of all this is the space this is something that i see at the level of realization so the completeness of right understanding takes place with realization of this coexistence and in expression it is reflected as participation in the undivided society universal human order and human tradition it is a very natural expression the moment i am able to contemplate upon the relationship as it is i naturally see my relatedness with every human being why to limit it to few members in the family why to limit it to few member to few people of my caste creed gender why i want to see this relationship of self to self with every other self similarly when i am going to work for physical facilities i am able to see that this physical facility is coming from the nature and this is not meant for my consumption the body is my instrument and this is serving the need of the body and if i am taking something from the nature i have give back to the nature so that the nature remains rich enough that it to fulfill the needs of other human beings so every time when i do something with the physical facility i am able to see my role in terms of universal human order even if i am purchasing something out of my own income in the family i am able to see from where is it coming who are manufacturing is somebody being exploited in the process or not isn't it so my goal is not to make as much as accumulation as i can or to gain as much profit as i can my goal is always to be a part of this universal human order generation by generation so with the completeness with the realization my right understanding gets complete and with the completeness of right understanding my conduct also gets completed and this is being a complete human being without this we are incomplete there is incompleteness of understanding there is incompleteness of conduct and we are not living with human consciousness though we are human beings but being human remains because there is no completeness of understanding there is no completeness of conduct and when you look at the problems in the society we are able to see that essentially the problem lies here the development is not taking place in the human being and that's how people are confused people are in opposition people are in contradictions they are fighting each other while the nature has abundance of physical facilities we are not able to make, make right utilization of the physical facilities and that's how we are feeling deprived we are exploiting others we are depriving others and things like this are happening so this is all from my side for today i can take up questions now time permits If any question is there, please raise your hand and you can ask. So, nice. So, ji, Kedar na ji. Am I audible, sir? No. The audible. Sir, good evening to all, sir. Good evening. Sir, uh, uh, human being is constitute of self and body. And uh, self. Uh, is... uh, I just pause here. See, it is not constituted. Basically, it is coexistence of self and body. Yes. Okay. okay. Coexistence of self and body. Uh, whereas body is a unconscious unit, and self is a conscious unit. Am I right, sir? Even here, let me let me pause again. So it is not unconscious. It is basically material. So we will not say that it is unconscious. Okay. It is not consciousness. So even the physical body is also conscious. No, the physical body is not conscious. But using the word unconscious gives a different meaning. So it is material. The physical body is material. The self is the sentient entity, the conscious entity. So we can understand that it is fully coexistence. Yeah, the self and the body are in coexistence. And you can also observe that your being is not dependent on the body. 
your being is not dependent on anything outside so we can see this very much that my being is not dependent on anything outside and with realization my happiness is also not dependent on anything outside my happiness is innate to me my being is already very much ensured but the happiness presently is not ensured with realization my happiness is also ensured through my own activities through my own development of high level activities i do not have to depend anything from outside i do not have to fetch anything from outside for my happiness हाँ भैया ये इफ वी हैव सपोज ए काइंड ऑफ अपोजिशन विथ समबडी सम आउटसाइड पर्सन एंड राइट फ्रॉम देयर हाउ कैन आई रीच द स्टेज ऑफ रियलाइजेशन द पाथवे कैन कैन यू जस्ट नरेट पार्डन से इट अगेन दे इज अपोजिशन फ्रॉम आउटसाइड या या सो राइट फ्रॉम देयर कैन आई रीच द स्टेज ऑफ रियलाइजेशन See, if there is no opposition from inside, there is only opposition outside. Then where is the hindrance? The other person may be opposing, but you do not have any opposition inside. Yeah, yeah. That is a natural state for you, a natural acceptable state. Mm -hmm. Now, if you also are having the feeling of opposition, then it becomes a problem because then you have to sort it out. And we can also see with right understanding that I do not have any opposition in me. At the same time, if the other is opposed to me, I can see the other's problem also. So I try to resolve the other. I to try to ensure the right understanding, right feeling in the other, so that the other also gets rid of this feeling of opposition. The other's intention is pure, sound. There is no problem with the intention as such. Only the conditioning might have got wrong. So I have to work on the competence of the other. Yeah. Is that clear, Bhaiya? Yes. Um, but the how can I reach there? Suppose uh, natural consist, uh, natural acceptance. Then as as usual, I have to reach there at the stage of realization. Yeah. So the process is self exploration, self verification. This is what we are into. Mm. Now, when we are receiving the proposal proposals from one end. <clears throat> and then we are trying to verify within we are trying to validate in our living essentially we are trying to self explore we are trying to see the reality as it is and this is the focus of our life now this is the focal point for which we have to work so within me the center is right understanding and for that the center is realization the my whole imagination is dedicated towards this activity of realization and then i am able to see that the body is only an instrument so i utilize the body in such a way that my imagination gets focused on realization and with this awareness i uh, produce physical facilities i consume physical facilities i rightly utilize physical facilities with this clarity within me i can see that the focal point is the realization in me i have to awaken this activity of realization just anything i do either it is in terms of this or it is a waste of time and uh, and the process can be both uh, from downward to upward or from upward to downward yeah see unless the realization is awakened it will be both the ways i am moving from lower activity to higher activity also and the higher activity to the extent that they have got developed they keep on guiding the lower activity also So that yeah. will be there, but once so, the realization is awakened, then I am only going from realization to the lower activities because the development has already taken place in completeness. So no hmm. more I do need to go from lower activity to higher activities. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Nice, nice, Bhaiya. Nice exploration. Any other question? Please let me know the time available. I will interact accordingly. By it till five twenty-five, you have the time. Okay, really nice. So I can interact even more. If some more questions are there. So let us look into this particular slide, you know. So these are my activities which I have to explore, and 
we need to look into the meaning of each and every word isn't it now when the realization is guiding my lower activities then you can see how the guidance takes place so when i'm able to see the whole existence as coexistence it gets naturally authenticated in my imagination and that means that there is a decision natural decision in me to be in accordance with this submergence earlier i might not be paying attention to this i might be paying attention to something else but now that this activity of realization has got awakened then there is a natural decision in me to be in accordance with it now this natural decision in me ensures the completeness of understanding in me and the same thing gets reflected in my determination indeed and that ensures com completeness of my contemplation so in fact the way we make a progression in this block b1 is something that we have to keep on examining within us first of all we have to examine whether i am able to enter into this block or not whether i am able to contemplate on the reality or not on the participation or not whether i am able to understand the reality or not so we have to keep on examining and you can see that the more it gets to my focus of life the more self organized my imagination becomes it may be the case that currently when i observe a shining long you know uh car with good luster i get mesmerized with this but when i am able to have the right understanding of the need for physical facility i no longer get mesmerized in fact it could be the other way i feel that see this person might have spent so much of time earning so much of money so that he could purchase this car but what use is this car making to him can that car ever take him to the state of realization so on presently it may be that the time getting mesmerized by physical facilities but later i may have a pity on the other let's see this person uh he is investing so much of himself and his body and his time and energy for having more and more of physical facilities so my complete imagination may change presently i may be uh uh influenced by some physical facilities somebody's clothes somebody's uh set of information but the more i am able to awaken these high level activities i get rid of this dependence i get rid of such conditionings so in this way i am progressing as a self i am progressing as a conscious entity i am developing as a human being so this is something that we have to keep on investigating within looking within so if you look at the symbol here it is saying explore and verify so we may be somewhere here maybe at the level of desire or at the level of thought even it may be the case that we are at the level of two that may be the case also but here again we have to keep on observing and investigating the good part is that the more i bring it to my focus the more i assign a high priority to this the whole life gets organized the major decisions in life that i have to take about guiding my children about purchasing a house for me about selecting my profession about selecting my growth in the profession i become more and more resolved presently it may be the case that if i am not able to see this development in me okay i am somehow somehow differentiating among people i am somehow looking at physical facility as the uh, sense of development i am terming myself to be the body and then i am trying to uh, live at the level of body without being able to see that my being is central to human existence so all this is something which i have to keep on exploring keep on investigating so keep on observing this this is just a kind of initiation of this process of self exploration a lot more is to be done isn't it a lot more is required to be done we are just into this process maybe the case that we have entered into this process and it will it may take a lot of time for us but again the more i progress my life gets more and more organized and we are also able to see that in some time you know a lot of change also takes place the way we are listening to the sharing you know in just maybe 2 to 3 years of exploration in this online mode when we are not able to see each other embrace each other physically still people are able to 
explore so much they are able to uh, uh, evaluate so much within themselves so this kind of possibility is there we are able to see a lot of possibility if this kind of input gets embedded in the education system we are also able to see that it's not only that the human beings are developing even the uh, organizations where these uh, people are there they are also developing the colleges also are developing in that sense in fact we see we can see that a single person in any college is enough to change the whole environment in the college this kind of potential is there your clarity in your thought your clarity in your presentation you are living okay that reflects to the students the peer group the management and once they become assured of your conduct they even give you a free hand that yes you guide us and we'll go along we can also see that there's a lot of provision already there in the system in the ict we can see that initially only the student induction program was initiated and now the mandatory course also came in the second year and now they have also made a provision for the minor degree now to be able to utilize this much of provision from aict still a lot of work is required in fact the more effectively we are able to run these minor degree courses the more development we can see in the forthcoming generations and why only aict for the technical institutions we are able to see that in higher education also ugc has become active it was also only running the induction program initially now it has also made a course mandatory in the second year whose uh, if you see uh, uh, desired content is much more in line with this so we can always share this content in even the non technical universities and now the AIC, after aict and ugc the ncert is also coming forward in mp in school education as we were discussing in the morning or uh, in the uh, hindi session today monthly meeting so a lot of work has been accomplished there in the schools in classes 9 to 12 the workbooks have been prepared so a lot of scope is there and the onus again lies on us the onus lies on us we have to develop ourselves the more you are able to develop as a self the participation will very naturally coming forward and then the system have so much of provision to take a program ahead isn't it we can also see that the provision is there in the system the proposal is coming from outside but once this process gets initiated in me i no longer depend on anything outside to keep on moving okay maybe the provision is not there tomorrow maybe the government changes maybe the uh, chair persons change maybe the directors change but still if you are into this process your development will not stop isn't it and a single person has the potential to guide the whole humanity this is how things have moved in the past also so that kind of potential is there in each one of us we only have to realize that potential isn't it that much of possibility is there in every one of us nice so this is the, all that i have to share